the jungle nowadays. I gotta be careful out there. Plus, we have another zoo and a yeah for you this morning. Mandy Knoll has a hint about this week's special guest. We're back at the Little Rock Zoo to learn about another animal this week. Here's a riddle for you. See if you can figure out who we're learning more about. I don't have eyes in the back of my head, but I can see behind me, so don't be misled. In the dark, I see you clear, but not as well if you draw near. Superpowers? I've got a few. The best may be how well I hear you. Who am I? I don't have eyes in the back of my head, but I can see behind me, so don't be misled. Anyway, what's going to be this week's <laughs> Zoo in A? We're having fun this morning. Mandy Noel has more. Okay, so I gave you some really good clues. The who at the end should have been a good one. It was hidden in there. If you guessed owl, then you are correct, and it's not just any owl. I'm going to put my mask on because he's a baby. This is Orion the Barn Owl. He's only 28 days old. Hannah Baker, thank you for being here with no us. No problem. Tell us a little about Orion. So Orion is a brand new ambassador animal, which means he's eventually going to have the very important job of going around to schools, doing programs, and teaching people about wild owls. So one of the things he has to get used to doing is he will eventually be free flying in this <laughs> amphitheater during our show. So this is actually really good practice for him. So I thought it was so interesting. You said one of the things people always ask you about when you have birds and you let them fly free is what's stopping them from flying away? And my answer is nothing. They can fly away if they want to. We just really hope that they don't want to. <laughs> um, we spend a lot of time training and building relationships and making us a positive place to be. So there's nothing that stops them. They just choose to hopefully fly and come back. You were telling me he's got some white stuff. His feathers are, he's so young, he's just growing in. He's very young. So these <laughs> feathers are down feathers, which is usually what's underneath his adult feathers. So they keep him warm. Um, but I was telling you too earlier, his face is actually really interesting. Their mm -hmm. facial feathers are like a satellite dish. So that's why they make that shape. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of catches sound and sends it right to their ears. So barn owls, like Orion, actually have better hearing than any animal ever tested. And it's because they have to be able to find prey at night. Another really fun fact, though, about him, actually, about hearing them, is that these owls don't hoot. So we have four species of owls in Arkansas, including <laughs> barn owls. And barn owls make a screech sound. When they're upset, luckily he's not. He's very happy right now. <laughs> um, but if you ever hear an owl hooting, it is not a barn owl. Okay, so Orion's probably going to start coming out and meeting with people mm -hmm. in the next month or so. Mm -hmm. And you can come to the zoo to see him or any of the other animals out here Monday through Sunday, 9 to 4, reservations required. See you guys next week with a new animal.